Well, g'day everyone. Um, recently I've been asked to do some reviews uh, with actually Luminar Neo and the interesting thing is I do use it all the time and I use it sort of in conjunction with Lightroom even sometimes with Photoshop too because you can do it as a plug-in through those applications and that's probably how um, I'm going to show this today. I'm going to show one area that I would use it. So uh, they've contacted me to ask me basically to be a partner with them which is great. Um, so I will give you some links and things like that uh, down below that if you do, say, purchase Luminar Neo, I get a little bit of a kickback too from it. But again, it, look, it's not going to change the way I talk about the program or what I use it for. Like I said, I'm probably a little bit different to a lot of other people use Neo uh, in the fact that I use it as a plug-in most of the time, whereas my wife, uh, she uses Neo all the time. She absolutely loves it. Uh, she finds it so easy to edit and things like that. She tried Lightroom and other programs and she just didn't like it um, and now she's stuck on on Neo so uh, she is one that uses it all the time I use it for the special effects which are just amazing also some of the plugins that they have as well I'm going to talk about uh, in future videos and I'll sort of take you through those as well now what I wanted to do today was talk to you about an update that that has come out so if I switch over here some of the things that they've added is you now get a histogram and I'll show you this in a second in the program so you get this nice preview now that is available in LUTs and also it will show in the uh, RAW tool as well. So if you're developing RAWs, you can sort of get this preview as well. Uh, you can also regulate the intensity of the preset adjustments too. And when you hover over those, it will change too uh, as well that you can see through here as well. They've added some new camera support uh, as well that's there um, and also bug fixes now today they released another one which is 1.9 and for the first time uh, with this program they've added a undo and redo feature um, I, and I'm really glad they've actually added this I can understand sometimes it probably takes them a lot longer to sort of add these features due to the fact that they, they're from Ukraine and you know what's going on in Ukraine at the moment it must be very very hard for them to develop in fact I'm amazed that they get so many uh, updates to this program uh, because of the situation that they're in but today they've updated it like I said to add redo and undo uh, as well as update uh, the performance and things like that so they've added a few extra features there as well and it, it does run a little bit faster too so they've added some nice things today as well I thought I'd show you where I use this program as a plug-in say from Lightroom so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to Lightroom and I'll sh uh, sorry to Neo and I'll show you what I do uh, this is the perfect type of image that I would be doing, um, say, as a plug-in. Why I would do this in this case, look, normally I will not replace skies, for instance. I will leave it as it is. But this day particularly was very, very grey. And the image, I like to give a sneak peek out during, uh, say, wedding shoots and things like that. I love to send off an image straight away to the bride and also for the venue and things like that. Um, and it just helps me get more work. Also, it gives the bride something that they can share as it takes me, you know, a couple of weeks after that to give the bride all their images. So I like to give one they can share straight away on social media. So I like to add something that has a little bit of impact. Now, like I said, I won't do this on... Uh, all the images but I just want to make this one a little bit special and, and to me looking at this one the grey sky particularly is killing this image and you know I'm just not happy with the way that it looks due to the fact that it's got that grey sky so this is an area where I would bring in the sky uh, into this background and I'll show you how I do that in a minute now you can notice up the top right hand side up here now there's uh, this is your histogram now that you can bring up so you can see this up here as well also if I do anything to this like for instance if I say um, open up enhance and then drag the slider over I'll just do this you know quite extensively uh, if I drag that over you now you can see there's this little undo area here so I can just click that to take it back you can also use your command you know your command and Z key if you wanted to go that way on a Mac so you have got that undo ability now that you can sort of get straight across and do it that way now let me have a look at this so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you quickly how I would use this say bringing this in from Lightroom I do the original corrections usually in Lightroom is a batch so that will all be done as a batch and then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add the sort of special effects and the secret source so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to show you quickly how I'll change the sky so we'll do that first and then I'm going to balance the image up uh, from that so if I click onto the sky here you'll see that it opens up these images now you can 
grab the first three that are there. There is ones that you can purchase as well. Or you can just go Sky Selection and then choose uh, from this lot that are in there. Now, if you have more than this, you can also grab that too. Um, or you can buy ones and things like that if you'd like to have more than what's sort of there. So I'm just going to see if I can find something that I think will fit the image. So I might just go for something like this one here. So you can see there that it's it's kicked it in. Now you've got to be careful, I suppose, here. You've got to try and make it so that it's uh, matching the light that's already there. So that's one thing that you want to sort of make sure of, that it's doing that. But you can then, if you wanted to, go down to more menus down here and say, change the horizon position, the vertical position, uh, horizontal position. You can flip it if you want to do that way as well. You can also bring in masks. I'm going to go through these things in other videos that I talk about uh, at other times. So you can actually change things like the relighting strength as well. Um, you can bring that up or down. Uh, if you have water reflections, you can do that as well. Uh, you can make it into reflections on the water. Uh, the sky here with the sky adjustments, you can put uh, in haze or you can make it warmer if you wanted to. Like, for instance, you can see there that I can make it much warmer or cooler. So you can sort of balance that to how you'd like it to look as well. Uh, I'm going to leave it somewhere around there. And then brightness as well. You can also brighten or darken the sky too, depending on what you'd want to get as well. You've got an awful lot of control. Now, the great thing here is that I've also tried this in Photoshop and you get nowhere near the masking that you get through this. When I do this in Photoshop uh, with this, the problem here is that this is very, very light and it matches the background of the sky. Also through here, it matches the background of the sky as well. Well, this is masked amazingly, actually. I haven't had to sort of make a separate mask in these areas. It's done it beautifully right from the start. Uh, I certainly couldn't do that as easily in Photoshop. I have tried and it, it you have to make masks and things like that to do it, whereas this is sort of, you know, all automatic. Um, also, I would retouch this area that you can sort of see through here as well. That will be taken out, or I'm going to crop it out actually in this case, just to sort of bring that up. So what I might do now is I'm happy with how the sky looks. So I might go up to the crop tool and I'm going to just go freeform here. And then I'm going to bring this down a little bit because I want to make it sort of very uh, sort of cinematic. Uh, in the way that it looks and I'm just going to crop that out like I said I might just retouch that out using the tools that are there as well and bring this over here as well all right so that's that's giving a, a nice look now I'm quite happy with that and in fact that would make a great poster but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this look a little bit nicer and a little bit more colorful and contrasty so what I'm going to do here I'm just going to move this mic a little bit out the way um, so let's have a look at some of the other tools that we can get here. Now you'll notice on the right hand side there's just stacks that you can use. And like I said, I'm going to go through this in another video uh, at another time, sort of take you through some of these. But one thing I do like always adding here is structure because it adds nice contrast in the background. It grabs all that detail and brings it out. So you'll notice if I click on the boost here, uh, you'll see how now that that's really given that some contrast. I wouldn't go like full amount but again if you did do it wrong you could then just undo that if you wanted to um, I'm just going to bring this up sort of around about halfway which will give you a nice look uh, down the bottom down here you can get a before and after if you'd like to look at it that way you can just see how it's made them all kick out as well uh, another thing that I might do too, I'm happy with the structure now because it's given detail all through here. I could make masks, and again, that'll be another thing that I'll show in another uh, video at a later date. Uh, I might also go into details down here as well and lift up the details a little bit, which will give it, you know, another lift as well. Uh, and you could sharpen here too. I don't think this really needs sharpening, but I'll give it a little bit of sharpening. Let's click out of that. Now, down here, uh, I could add things like sun rays and things like that or toning. If I wanted to say change the mood of this image, I could come here and then uh, select a LUT if I wanted to. Now I like uh, some of these, like this um, Anaheim one. Uh, actually, I think it was Bakersfield. No, it was this one I liked, I think. Long Beach, I think, gives a really nice look. Now if I click on Long Beach, you can see there that it warms everything up a little bit. Uh, let me check what the others do. Notice how straight away when I go over these, it will give me a, a preview of what's there. So there's cinematic toning. 
I think I'm going to go with this one, Long Beach, because I like the look that it's actually giving me here. So that's uh, the mood that I've got there. Now, your matting as well can give that look that some photographers like, which is a very sort of flat type look. Uh, I'm not going to use that on this image, but I do use that quite a bit as well. And the other thing that I always like to use is this Enhance. I find that it gives a really nice kick as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click the accent here and I'm going to pull that up. You'll notice what that does to the background. Like it really lifts everything up. So I'm going to bring this in uh, sort of about halfway. And then if you wanted to, too, you could also enhance the sky as well using this. But I'm quite happy with how the sky looks as it is. But I am going to give it a kick with that and uh, adjustment for the enhance as well so now if we look at the before and after you can see on the left hand side the before and then on the right hand side you can see here where it's been edited and you know that's if i wasn't showing you this would take me five minutes it, it's so quick to do it this way and i haven't found masking that is as good as what this actually gives me uh, and i'm really happy i then just save it out and I'll send it to the bride. They would not know that the sky has been changed. But again, the venue will love this because it makes the whole area look so much prettier than that grey sort of look that we had before uh, that was coming uh, through it. So if you have any questions about this program or you'd like me to look at something for you, uh, let me know. Uh, and I'll see if I can incorporate it in some of the videos later on. Uh, there is a code down below that I get a little bit of a kickback if you buy through that code. Also, there's a competition there at the moment uh, that you can win a trip uh, to Iceland. Also, you can all, there's some other prizes and things like that that you can uh, win as well. Uh, so I'll leave that link down below as well at the same time. Apart from that, everyone, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.